All right, so today is a big day. We are in Mr. Yunkerman's fourth grade class at Genesee Hill Elementary. <laughs> And I'm betting your fourth grade class didn't include studying earthquakes and natural disasters. And hold on until the shaking stops. This one does. Brie O'Connor on the science. Yeah, there are two um, tectonic plates that are um, have some tension right now around Washington that could slip and that would cause a fairly big earthquake around Washington. Deja Piggy on preparedness. Sign up for emergency alerts and notifications. Identify your local emergency alert system, e EAS. Genesee Hill is brand new, and when you walk through the front door, you immediately see seismic bracing, a section of wall commemorating the old brick school it replaces nearby. The new building is state-of-the-art but not everything inside is up to date. So these are our, all of our emergency kits. We have um, many kits that, that contain the food and water. Liz Dunn is assistant principal in charge of school safety. Trauma kits. But those kits are only equipped to last a few days. Dried and canned food in the cafeteria could stretch that. But new guidance from state emergency management is urging everyone to be ready for two weeks. Are you ready for the great shakeout? Do you feel prepared? Yes! <laughs> All right, one minute. In this case, the earthquake comes with a warning. Earthquake. 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 The shaking isn't real, but the message is, take cover under a desk and hold on. But getting ready is a lot bigger than a minute-long exercise. That is the end of 60 seconds. Yeah. It goes home. Elliot Kelly Peterson. Since we just got a new puppy, we, we got some like boots for her. If there's glass on the ground, um, if there was to be a natural disaster. The mission ultimately is to raise awareness and um, lower anxiety as much as possible in a moment like an earthquake. That if an earthquake happened, then this could not fall down. Seattle Public Schools now require three earthquake drills a year. But drills are not mandatory statewide. Neither are state-of-the-art schools, though Seattle says it's retrofitted its older ones. Schools in only five counties of the state's 39 have received a seismic safety analysis from state geologists. The overall seismic safety of schools, still a work in progress. I know that you will know exactly what to do in an emergency. I'm very proud of you. In West Seattle, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.